Cora TV. The world is thinking. Dog training is a very strange profession. It's unlike any other profession. In most professions, you give professional advice and people listen to you and do it. Um, when you're a dog trainer, no, they don't listen at all. Um, I'm a veterinarian. There's you know, a couple of ways to spay a cat, you know, three ways to castrate a dog. And, well, maybe after yesterday, there's four ways to <laughs> castrate a dog. Um, but training a dog, there's a million different ways. And you can tell the owner what to do. Say your dog barks a lot, okay, moisten way out his kibble for the day, moisten it, stuff it into chew toys, uh, put them in the fridge, freeze them, give them to the dog when you're at work, and you'll find the number of barks per day is reduced by 90%. And they'll say, no, I I'm not going to do it. That I saw this person, uh, a poke on TV, who said, I, I need to be a stronger leader. It's like these vague terms, and they're interested with the, why does the dog bark, not actually how to resolve the problem. And, and, and these vague sort of, you know, psychobabble, we have to be a leader, what are you going to lead the dog in barking? Like, woof, 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 <laughs> this sort of thing. Or are you going to lead the dog by splashing urine around the living room? No, we want specific solutions to specific, utterly predictable, very easily resolvable problems. But then we get into a kind of difficulty that when it comes to dog training, owners don't just make mistakes. Um, they, they just get it all wrong. It, I mean, it really is amazing when you watch someone working with a dog and everything they're doing is wrong, 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 wrong. I mean, where do you start? Um, for example, let's say um, someone's taking their dog to the park. Um, they say, should we take the dog for a W-A-L-K? Because they have to spell, because the dog goes crazy. Well, now the dog's learnt to spell, and he goes, whoa, 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 he does moon loops. And so what do they do? They put the dog on leash rewarding the crazy behavior, wrong. They then walk like this to the park, the dog dragging them. They continue walking, thus rewarding the dog for pulling, wrong. Then they get to the park and the dog is really crazy. Like, you know, yahoo, and he's jumping up and down, he's running circles, he's barking, he's goosing them, you know, he's tearing at their clothing. They let the dog off leash. It's like, how wrong can you be? You just gave the dog the biggest reward in, in urban dogdom for acting like a total loon, but then it gets worse. They ignore the dog for 45 minutes and they say, Rover, come here, click. They then end the play session when the dog comes when called. They are 180 degrees out of phase. So then, of course, the next day, the dog won't come when called. Yes, it even gets worse. It's scary. So they call the dog, and it's simple lure and reward. Puppy, come here, pup, 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 good boy, and reward him when he gets there. Instead, they say, Rover, come here. The dog says, no, because you're going to put the leash on me. Come here, come here, you son of a bitch. Get over here, come here. It's really difficult to get some. I want to all turn to someone in the row now and tell them, get over here now. Come on, come over here. It, it, you know, and so the dog doesn't want to come, and then when it does come, they grab it and do ugly face. You bad dog. Don't you do that again? And um, there's three basic skills I think owners need. Um, one is they need to realize that the feedback to the dog is binary. When he gets it right, tell him, good boy. And when he gets it wrong, then, hey, correct him or redirect him. Number two, the, the, the reinforcement feedback um, should be analog. Basically, it's a differential reinforcement. All the other five different reinforcement schedules are a waste of time. Puppy trainers has taught us that. Continuous reinforcement, you'll get a spoilt child. Now, the fixed ratios, that you can't train a puppy on a fixed ratio, yet the entire world's workforce is maintained on fixed interval and fixed ratio schedules. Payday and peace rate. That's crazy. There's not a puppy trainer in the world that would try and get a dog to perform that way. Differential reinforcement. Only above average responses are rewarded. Better responses get better rewards. And the best responses get the best rewards jackpots. Then the learning is ever learning. The dog is always improving. The third thing a skill people need to master is punishment. Punishment. This is the most misunderstood tool of all. <laughs> <laughs> and the definition of punishment is it's a stimulus which decreases the immediately preceding behavior such that it's less likely to occur in the future. There's nothing that says that it has to be painful or fearful. 
and it doesn't have to be painful or fearful to work, so maybe it shouldn't be painful or fearful. All we have to do is to be calm and consistent. Rover, sit. No, sit. Sit. And you'll find it's very, very effective. So these are the three skills people have to learn to work with dogs. Um, why is it important? Um, it's actually not much to do with dogs at all. It's to do with people. If you can't house train a puppy, how are you going to potty train your child? If you can't get your dog to stop barking, how are you going to get your child to listen and learn?